Curly Q&A, this is your question of the day. I'm your host, Ken Nichols. I'm the co-founder of the Raw Hair Organic Salon in beautiful Naples, Florida. It's one of the top curly hair salons in the country. And I'm also the co-founder of the Raw Curls brand of natural and organic curly hair products. Our question today comes from Janelle. Janelle asks, I started the curly girl method about three months ago, and I have to say I'm not very happy with the results. I purchased all Jesse Curl products at the recommendation of a stylist in California on a curly hair Facebook forum, and I've used those four products exclusively. They weren't cheap either. I sent the stylist a message telling her what I just told you, and she told me to continue using them that eventually my curls would get better. My question is... Is it okay to experiment with different products, or is that a big no-no? Well, Janelle, that's a really good question, and uh, I see a similar variation of this question come up a lot. Um, my, my basic answer is, yes, absolutely, experiment. But when you experiment with other products, make sure you're experimenting with good quality products with good quality ingredients. In other words, I don't... And, and let's talk about the long-term. As far as long-term results, I don't normally see good to great long-term results with dollar store type items. You might in the short term, but not long term. And uh, so if you're going to experiment, I, I would look probably at, at better brands, brands that are in the category of something like, like Jesse Curl is. Uh, I would say brands like, if I had to make a couple of suggestions, I would say brands like maybe, uh, maybe take a look at InnerSense, uh, maybe take a look at Diva Curl products, maybe take a look at some of the We Dad products and uh, um, and you could also look at some of the Raw Curls products as well. But I, I would look at, at products like that. But if you're going to experiment, you know, also try to stay, you know, into what are Curly Girl approved uh, ingredients. In other words, stay away from sulfates, uh, stay away from silicones, um, you know, stay, stay away from waxes in general, uh, stay away from things like that, you know, so so obviously if you've been following the Curly Girl method, you, you understand that. Um, Continue to stay in that realm, but look maybe at at you know good to higher quality products as well. And yes, play around with absolutely. The another thing that you you could also do is maybe try one or two of a couple of the different uh, products in some of the different lines and see. That is one of the problems with the curly girl method is there is no blanket product. There is no blanket product line. There is no. Uh, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, a, a silver silver bullet answer where I can say to you, you know, just hand anybody four products and say, here you go, here's your answer, use this and that's it. Um, there's a, a lot of trial and, and error involved for a lot of people and there's just no easy way around it. So yes, absolutely, feel free, experiment, you know, play around, but make sure you're doing it with, um, you know, with good quality products, with you know, good quality ingredients. So if you have a question that you would like I or uh, Melanie Nichols to answer in an upcoming show, feel free to leave it in the comment section and we'll try to get to it tomorrow. We'll see you then.